let's build a backend, generate and send me by email a Stripe summary report using BuildShip, an exciting new tool that helps us build complex backend solutions using the best of low code and no code. So here we are in our project in BuildShip. We've got a couple of workflows and I've clicked here on the templates to select a template for a workflow that has just about everything I need to generate a Stripe summary report. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Stripe summary report. And as you can see, most of everything is already done with just a couple things for me to fill in. But before I fill them in, I just wanna briefly walk through each of these nodes. We've got our entry, which is our schedule or cron job with a location, our cron syntax schedule once a month and the time zone. Here, we see a node called generate Stripe report and we can see a warning, Stripe API key is required. We can safely store our secrets in BuildShip. Now I've already got a Stripe key here, but you can go ahead and add your own secrets. Go ahead and select that. Cool. Next, we've got a node that's turning that JSON from Stripe into HTML. We'll look into more of that in a bit. Then we're generating a PDF document from that HTML input using Puppeteer to save it to the cloud storage. The input is coming from our generated HTML and our browserless key is gonna come from our secrets like before. Wonderful. Then we've got our final node, which sends emails with that PDF as an attachment. We're going to be using the resend API. So I've already got my resend secret. Then, we're going to have a recipient email and the from address. I'm going to send it to myself, Ramon at buildship.app. And the from is going to be reports at buildship.app. With all of that done, believe it or not, we are ready to deploy our summary report generator. Cool. We can now see that our workflow has been successfully deployed. I want to take a moment to take a look at our JSON to HTML node. If we click here on this code button, we're going to see the code of our template. Got some HTML, uh, generating a table and sending that to our recipient. But what if I wanted to add a little bit to this HTML? Now I could write some code myself, but what if I use AI to tweak it just a little bit? If I click here on this magic wand button next to the node, now I've got a prompt I can write. I need to modify the node to add a footer to the HTML saying built with build ship. Let's go ahead and click on generate and let the AI work its magic. So once we see that we're all set, let's dive in back to our code and see what changed. And there you can see. We now have a footer that says built with build ship. And just like that, you can quickly tweak parts of your workflow to really make this as easy as possible to set up. And friends, we're just scratching the surface here. There's so much that we can do with build ship in just a few clicks to get us up and running with our own backend solution. Stay tuned for the next video. Till next time.